This Korean style bulgogi is very flavorful, spicy, extremely tasty, and very easy to prepare. Let's make some. Bulgogi is a popular Korean dish that consists of thinly sliced meat marinated in a sauce and typically cooked on an open fire or a stove top. The key components to the sauce are sweet, sour, spicy, salty. These are the flavors that makes the sauce so delicious. The soy sauce is gonna add the saltiness. You're gonna add a little sesame oil. The sesame oil is gonna add some umami or some sour flavor. Gojujang is a red chili paste and that is gonna add the spiciness. Of course, the brown sugar is gonna add some sweetness. The scallions is used for some texture and also a little flavor. We're gonna add garlic because garlic is delicious and it adds a nice flavor and taste to the sauce. We're going to sprinkle with some sesame seeds because the sesame seeds adds some texture that we love. And we're going to thin this out with some water. Once everything is whisked in together, it is time to just let that sit to the side and we begin on our meat. We are using very, very thin sliced beef typically ribeye, and you want this really, really nice and thin. You can purchase this in the store or you can slice the beef yourself. I chose to purchase it in the store. I'm going to take this thinly sliced meat and I'm just going to stick it in my bowl and we're just going to let this marinate. I am using a smaller bowl because I want the meat compacted in here so it could soak up every single ounce of that marinade feel free to use whatever size bowl that you want to. Once all the meat is covered in the marinade, you are going to put a tight lid on here and you're gonna refrigerate for four hours or overnight. My meat has been marinating in the fridge for four hours. I also took it out and let it get room temperature because we know it's juicier that way. I have a paper towel because I am going to dab the meat with the paper towel because I really don't want a lot of excess sauce when I am cooking this meat. The marinade has done its job. The meat should be tender and it's all seasoned. If you put too much sauce in the pan because we're cooking this on such a high heat, it will burn, trust me. I'm going to just take it out of the marinade, just give it a quick dab on my paper towel and we are going to cook this at a very high heat. Because this is sliced so thinly, you don't need to cook this for very long. If you're using a ribeye steak, you wouldn't eat a ribeye well done. Well, I hope you wouldn't. And the same applies here. You're going to cook this for two to three minutes, flip it over, cook it for another minute, and it should be done. It is time to remove this beautifully cooked meat from the skillet. And let's get ready to plate this up. It is smelling absolutely delicious in here. I cannot wait to try this. When I told you this was nice and simple, it is. All you're going to do is take some white rice and you're going to take this beautifully cooked meat and you're going to load it up. There's not going to be a lot of sauce, remember, because we dabbed our meat and we did not want the sauce to caramelize and burn. It should be enough flavor on the meat to go really, really well with the white rice. We are going to garnish this with some sesame seeds, same as what we used in our marinade. And we're also going to top this with some scallions or green onions, same as the marinade. Now this is going to go really, really well with some kimchi. Kimchi is actually fermented cabbage. It goes really well together. Serve these two as a pair. Bon appetit. Let's eat.